This is how to install a Mr. Cool DIY ductless mini split heat pump. Once you've picked your install location, open the indoor handler's box and grab the cardboard mounting template. On the template is an outline of the wall mounting plate and where the hole in the wall will be drilled to its right. You'll want the securing screw in the top center of the bracket to be placed into a stud and the three and a half inch hole on the bottom right to avoid any studs, electric, or any hazards that may be housed within the wall. Once you're ready, hold the template at the install location and make sure it's level. Then, mark the holes where the mounting plate will be secured with a screwdriver. Next, mark where the 3.5 inch hole will be drilled. A small indention in the wall will make the mounting plate and hole saw step much easier. Once marked, set the template aside and head to the indoor air handler's box. Remove the screw that attaches the mounting plate to the back of the indoor unit, and unlatch the bottom hooks that secure it to the handler as well. Next, secure the mounting plate to the wall with the provided screws. You'll want the securing screw in the top center of the bracket to be placed into a slot. Double check that the plate, when secured, will rest level. It's also important that the plate sits flat against the wall. Then, use a 3.5 inch hole saw to drill a hole in the wall where you left the reference mark. Make sure the hole is drilled at a slightly downward angle to ensure proper water drainage. Once drilled, pass the wall sleeve through the wall and mark where you need to cut it to make it flush with the wall. Then cut the sleeve and replace it in the hole. Next up, tape the refrigerant piping, DIY Pro Cable, and condensation line together. Make sure the condensation line is at the bottom. This will make passing the bundle through the hole in the wall easier and ensure proper drainage. Now you can start passing the DIY Pro Cable through the hole to the outside. Then grab the wall mounted air handler carefully and pass its refrigerant piping, condensation line, and the remaining DIY Pro Cable through as well. Once the piping bundle is through, you'll line the handler up with the mounting bracket and hook the top of the handler to the top of the bracket. Apply force to the bottom half of the handler and make it snap into place underneath the hooks at the bottom of the bracket. Once mounted, we'll put in the USB dongle beneath the handler's front panel. Use a screwdriver to pry the USB housing from the panel and then detach the USB port from its clip and insert the USB dongle. Reattach the port with connected USB dongle into the clip and then snap the USB housing back into the underside of the front panel. If you're installing a 4th Gen Mr. Cool DIY, consult your manual. Now we can head outside. First, you'll want to place the equipment pad where you want your condenser. The pad should be on even, sturdy ground. And then, with assistance from someone else, move the condenser into place. Now it's time to unravel the correct amount of line set. Note the distance between the condenser's connection ports and the air handler's piping jutting up from the wall above. It's important you do not kink the line set as you unroll it, and that you do not uncoil more than you need. This will ensure proper operation and maximize the appearance of the finished installation. After that, you'll connect the DIY line set to the air handler's piping. Start by hand, tightening the comparably sized connections together until secure. Then, with adjustable wrenches, tighten those connections until completely snug. Don't force the connection any further. Now we'll connect the line set to the condenser. Remove the water tray shown here. It's important to make sure the condenser's valves are tightened thoroughly before connecting the line sets. Once the valve is tightly secure, remove the caps from the end of the valve and then align the line set to the appropriately sized valve. And just as we did in the previous connections, start by hand. Once secure, use adjustable wrenches to tighten them until all of the way snug and do not tighten them any further. See manual for further instructions and torque requirements. Now it's time to open the valves. Using the supplied Mr. Tool Allen wrench, open the valves counterclockwise as far as they will allow. Do not force them any further. Do the same for the bottom valve and then reapply the caps. The line set has connected the indoor air handler and the outdoor condenser. And opening these valves is what allows refrigerant to flow freely between these two components. If you're installing a multi-zone DIY, depending on the number of zones in your system and the generation of DIY you're installing, you may need to open the king valves. Check your manual for specific instructions. This system is a single zone, so no opening of king valves is required. And now the refrigerant is flowing freely within the system, we'll test the connection points for leaks. Spray a soapy water mixture to the connection points between the condenser valves and the line sets. If properly connected, no bubbles will form at those connection points. If bubbles do form, see the manual for common problems and simple solutions. Once those tests are clear, you'll apply sound deadening paths to the connection points between the handler's piping and the line set. We also recommend securing the connections together via the provided tape. Now you can replace the water tray on the side of the condenser and move on to the electric hookup. 
Mr. Cool requires that all electrical work meets the local and regional requirements and that any electrical work must be completed by a licensed electrician. Before any electrical work is done, ensure the unit is entirely powered off. Up next, remove the wire cover from the unit by loosening the screws attaching it to the condenser. Then, remove the ring from the DIY Pro cable by turning it counterclockwise. Then you'll pass the DIY Pro cable through the hole on the left of the metal panel before re-securing the ring, thereby securing the cable to the panel. Then, you'll connect each wire to its component terminal, with one going to one, two to two, and three to three. The green neutral wire will be secured by the green screw on the terminal plate. It will be unscrewed, placed inside the green wire's hole, and then re-screwed into the same hole on the terminal plate. And once power is run to the system by an experienced electrician, the system is ready to be turned on. Back inside, turn the system on with the provided remote. Success! Now that the system is on, run through and test each mode, heat, cool, dry, and fan for five minutes each to ensure they function per the manual's description. And just like that, you've installed a Mr. Cool DIY Mini Split Heat Pump. Congratulations! For more information or for questions about your install, see the manual or call our customer service team today. Mr. Cool. Comfort made simple.